All right, welcome back, everyone. Like you already know, it's your boy. Why so serious? In here again. I showed you guys some tactics in these last battles, and again, we're gonna go ahead and show you some more battle here. The Werewood Forays. It takes 20 stamina, and it takes one green side energy. So we're gonna go in. You can see everybody here. Uh possible hints at the new upcoming characters so let's get into it, the first attempt and um these werewood forays aren't much honestly you can auto everything and you're pretty much guaranteed a victory i expected much more from it but hey it's free it's easy it's victories you collect rewards and i mean you can't really ask much more so we're gonna go ahead and run through all this on auto And I mean, that's pretty much it. The Werewood Forays upgrade with uh, your characters. So, so far it looks like there's never going to be a time where you cannot finish these. Which can be good and it can be bad. I mean, it's not a challenge for players. And it's free resources, so I'm not complaining. Now you have everything right here. The question marks are mysteries, which I've yet to uh, see that come into play besides these being an unknown path which really doesn't make sense because uh eh, if there was a path that was more challenging that had better rewards of course you'd go after it with it being unknown you're not really sure what you're gonna get the treasure chest which is when you claim your rewards after the battle you have the campfires which is basically your starting point for choosing a path you have your regular enemies, and the enemies with the swords in the back are dangerous. Melas or Mylas, Werewood, Wares is going to be up here. And the Werewood tree is the final path. So let's go ahead and go with the dangerous. Like I said, you can pretty much auto this whole thing. I have not been... I played it the first time, and the AI seems to drastically take out everybody. Uh, no problem. What I will say is keep in mind to this, to this playset. I call the map the playset. Um, as you can see, there was nothing in front of us. And this is one of the many maps they have in the game. Each map has a specific strategy for it that works best. Uh, this one is basically brutal uh, confrontation. You run towards your enemy and defeat them. Just like any uh, any war field. But there are some stages. Now, let me show you this. Milo's Werewood. You can go ahead and click on it. It tells you it's an ability scroll. Uh, most of the time, I'm not buying what she has to offer. It's not worth it for me. Uh, 900 for an ability. I don't think it's worth it. You don't always have to buy it. If you want, go ahead. But like I was saying, there's uh, different maps. Each map has their own strategic ability. So you've seen the last map was a uh, open world front on front battle. This one happens to be on a bridge, limited area space. So what I like to do, I like to take it off auto on this one. Hit start battle. Now, as you can see, I can run all the way forward and attack. I'm going to go ahead and stay back because if I were to run forward here, I can get surrounded by three characters and get attacked three times. It's real easy. It's, it's uh, How do you say it? There's no challenge in it right now. Hopefully they add more challenge to it. Or at least a uh, better pass for rewards. I believe if you take a stronger path, you should reap better rewards. And just like that, took them out. Like I said, this this portion of the game has no challenge. You claim your rewards. 
novice insignias are always nice to get. And at the end, you get a free reward as well. That's the Werewood 4A. It's nice, it's fun. Now, ranging is a whole different story. You're using 20 stamina, you're using one green side energy, and you're battling what you can. Um, I have yet to complete level 60. So we'll go ahead and uh, just show you level 5. Um, and these levels, they don't really care too much on whether you survive or not. So as long as you beat it, you're guaranteed to win. You always win. My bad. Though. I always forget, it starts on auto, so we're going to go ahead and stop. What I like to do is pile up the bears, so we're going to go ahead and move Denarii's back. We're going to move the Champion of Winter, the Raven Tree, and the Bear Island Brawler. Their move, now they're all lined up, looks exactly how we want them. We're going to go ahead and burn them. With the sharp Raven Tree and Elite, we're gonna go ahead and take them out. And from here, you pretty much just go after the bear until he's dead. So that's when we start stepping closer. We do our moves. He was dazed. So it's better for us. Hopefully they add soon uh, that you're able to scroll more or less in and out. You can't really zoom right now because uh, as you can see I kept clicking the wrong button on the top. And that's just because I have fat fingers. And there you have it. You can see your rewards. Ordinary scrolls, a worn scroll. You have um, your unit traits, your hero XPs, and your unit XPs. So we're going to go ahead and go back. Yeah, that's some guy trying to race in the streets. We don't need that. Now the wall, the wall was great. I did try it out. Basically what the wall is, it's a weekend event that starts off at level 20 and it gradually works its way up. So you start off with level 20 enemies, the next wave is 21 and you keep going. The only thing that's crazy about it is your characters do not regain the HP after each battle. So the better your roster is, the more well off you are to go ahead and fight in this. I personally didn't make it too far, considering I only have three characters over level 20. And there is no heroes involved with it at all. So you don't have a hero to help you, and it's all your units defending the wall. Legendary events are still here. Jon Snow, King of the North, will be arriving soon, hopefully. Our daily quest, we'll go ahead and claim everything. The Lodge, it's really nothing too special. All you do is send somebody out, bring them back, they bring you your rewards, which is most of the time copper pennies, and shard character. You can go ahead and speed these up, it's not really much. 
and you only get two a day. Hopefully they increase that. Two a day seems pretty low for uh, anybody, honestly. As you can see, they have the uh, Seven Kingdoms here. Rookery's unlocked at level 50. I'm gonna get to that as soon as I can. Give you guys some updates on there. Anyways, we have story mode still to go through. Draw from the Night's Watch Oath. Currently do not have enough sh um, Silver Stag. We need about 50 more. Let's see if we can uh, get 50. Hero Arena. So we'll go ahead and get Hero Arenas and get a pull for you guys today. In the uh, next video. What I'm going to do is show you story mode now. I've unlocked Heroic. I'm not going to get there yet until I 3 star every chapter. So basically, you want to do your story mode, 3 star everything, because in your, as you can see in the top right, you get major rewards for it. And after that, what you can do is you can go around... And look at your three stars. Look at what they give you. Linen. Right now I'm not needing needing that. Wood. More wood. Bronze. I'm looking for pelt. Pelt. Now what you can do. Is you can battle. This is a pretty good. Uh, this one isn't pretty good to. Uh use weak characters on uh, I did show you guys I want to say it was in my second video uh, how to level up your units without wasting the XP tomes so we're just gonna go ahead and patrol this I'm gonna patrol it all the way as many times as I can which is 20 for each uh, spot you only get 20 20 a day If you guys need help on any story mode missions, just let me know. I'll go redo them. I'll, I'll put up the best strategies for you guys. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, if you finish story mode already, all you really can do is sit back and uh, wait to promote your gear. Like I said, I need pelts right now. This is exactly why I bought pelts, so I can level this up. I'm trying to get everyone's uh, gear up so I can start three-starring everything. Alright, so I'll see you guys for the third video today. We're going to go over the hero arena. I'm going to do a 10 draw for you guys. And... Hopefully we can get some uh, ideas on what you guys want for the next video. And until next time, you guys have a good day.